Hello, I'm Steve Rizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements together. And here we are in Adobe Photoshop Elements. Now you can do a lot of things with Photoshop Elements. Now you can use Photoshop Elements, of course, to clean up pictures. You can also use it to create graphics from scratch. But some of the most fun you can have with Photoshop or Photoshop Elements is to create something that really wasn't there. In other words, I have a picture of a baby here and I have a background of a swimming pool and my plan is to cut out the baby and make it look like he's sitting next to the swimming pool. That's a fun thing to do and I want to take you through the process of doing it in course of say three tutorials and I want to break it down into a couple of parts. In part one, what we're going to do is just take a look at some of the advanced selection tools that have been added in some of the more recent versions of Photoshop Elements. In part two, we'll do the actual cutting and pasting, and I'll show you some tricks to doing that. And in part three, we're going to take a look at a guided edit that walks you through the whole process. But let's look at the basics here of selection in part one. And there are a number of ways, of course, we can draw selections around the baby. One way is to come over here to the lower right of the selection tools and select one of these tools. Now this is the quick selection tool. It's kind of cool. You just sort of push it around and it makes a selection based on basically color values. So it's looking for color breaks and then making selections. And as you can see, occasionally it goes a little too far and you have to undo that. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Uh, one thing to remember about any selection you make is that once you make the initial selection, you can continue to refine it. And if I hold down, say the shift key, as I continue to make selections, it's going to add to the selection. Now, if there are areas I want to remove, I just hold down the Alt or the Option key. And when I push that direction, it's going to remove part of the selection. And that's true no matter what selection tool you use. The Shift key will continue to add to the selection and the Alt key will remove from the selection. So let's go ahead and we're just going to create a basic selection. Now you can see what one of our big challenges is going to be. This baby has some adorable curls and that may look cute, but it is murder to select those tiny curls amidst that background. And that's where these cool new tools that have been added to Photoshop Elements come in handy. Now let's say that we've selected this and we don't have to be entirely precise with our selection because the method that I'm going to teach you to use will allow us to make some refinements later on, even after we cut and paste. So with this child selected, how do we get to those uh, finer elements. Well, there is a great little tool that has been added recently, and it's the Refine Selection Brush. So it's one of the selections of brushes here in the lower right corner of our selection tools, and among the options there is something called the Refine Selection Tool. And as you see, when I select it, it kind of shows us what's selected and what's not. So everything that is not selected in our picture is going to show up with sort of this red overlay on it. Now there are actually three settings for this Refine Selection Brush. And as you can see, one of them has in the gray circle in the center, a little plus sign. So in other words, once we're inside, if I just hold this down and push, I'm going to be adding to the selection. See how that works? I'm just going to be pushing outward and adding to the selection. Now, once I'm outside the selection area, you see it's a minus. Take a look at this. I'm going to zoom in by going Control Plus or Command Plus. It's kind of cool because it's a little bit intuitive. See how it's finding the break between the baby's skin and the background? And so as you push in from the outside, for the non-selected area or push from the inside out, the program is kind of working with you to get a really nice clean selection. Now here's where the real magic happens. Watch this. In between the plus sign and the minus sign, when you hold this tool right on the edge of a selection, you get that little black dot. Now that black dot is magical. Watch this, I'm gonna select that black dot. I'm just gonna hold down the mouse key. And if you look at what's going on there, it almost looks like, like there's a liquid sort of spreading across. And I'm just gonna hold it down until that liquid covers all of those baby curls. And watch what happens when I let go. Look at that. It selected the baby's curls and didn't select the background. We'll do that again. Let's go up here toward the top. We've got a lot more curls. Once we get to that black dot in between the plus and the minus, that black dot, hold down, 
And you see it's sort of spreading almost like a liquid. Let it envelop all the background you want to select. Now, obviously this works best when there's a lot of contrast between what you're selecting and what you're not selecting. Let go. Look at that. Got all those little baby curls in there. Now here we've got a case where we've selected curls and some of the background is bled through. We'll go ahead and use this tool in there also. And you see, look at that. We got rid of some of the background that bled through too. This is a pretty amazing tool. And we can continue to refine this just by running that tool over the same area several times. Adobe has done a spectacular job with this. Now, once we've done that, we can go even deeper into refining this selection by going to the select menu at the top of the screen and selecting refine edge. Now here in the refine edge tool, there's something called edge detection and it gets even more precise. So if I take this baby's curls here and I just drag across them or paint right across them, Look at that, we're even getting more precise with our selection. I'm just painting over any area where there might be some hair and the program is selecting the hair and eliminating the background. Now, if I select too much, I can select this eraser here and when I use that, it will do the opposite. It will kind of remove some of the area we've selected. But that said, I'm gonna click OK and uh, we'll turn off the Refine Edge tool, just go back to our Selection tool, and there is our selection. Now, it may not show, but we have a really fine selection here in which we've selected a lot of detail, including the baby's hair. Now, in our next uh, tutorial here, we're going to take that baby, cut him out of this picture, and put him into the swimming pool, and you're going to see just how precise these selections were, and then we'll do some touch-ups once we've moved this element from this photo to the other. And that's in part two.